It was high summer. The sun was extremely hot. Two travelers were going along a dusty road that had no trees along its sides. Looking for some shelter from the hot sun, they saw a tree with big leaves and branches spread like an umbrella. They placed their belongings on the ground, and sat in the cool thick shade of the tree. After taking some rest, one traveler said to the other, what a useless tree it is. It bears no fruits at all. Hearing this, the tree felt pinched and burst out, you ungrateful soul. On one hand, you are taking shelter in my cool shade from the burning heat of the sun and on the other hand, you are calling me useless. Get up and leave the place immediately to be scorched again. It was high autumn. An olive tree and a fig tree stood near each other. The fig tree had lost all his leaves and became quite bare. Seeing his neighbor, the olive tree puffed up with pride. The olive tree taunted the fig tree, how unlucky you are. You lose your leaves every autumn to be bare. But I flourish all the year round. The fig tree argued, friend. It's my destiny to be bare and yours to be evergreen. But there is nothing to feel small or proud about it. It is out of control of both of us. Few days later, there occurred a snowfall. The snow settled on the leaves of the olive tree and gave way under its heavy weight. But as for the fig tree, the snow fell to the ground through its bare branches and it survived the snowstorm. Once upon a time, there was a trader who had a large flock of goats. People used to come from distant and nearby places to buy goats from him. Thus the trader was earning a lot from his trade. He had also employed a goat herd, who drove the flock to a pasture in the morning, and after sunset, drove them back and shut them up in the fold. One day, the goat herd was about to drive the flock, back home, as usual, when he saw that some goats had strayed aside. So, he tried to get them back by calling and whistling. All the strayed goats returned and joined the flock but one stubborn goat didn't obey him. So, he threw a stone at her. It hit one of her horns and it was broken. The goat herd got scared, and begged the goat not to tell anything about it to the trader. But he was silly because the horn itself would have revealed the reality.